Arts and Education at the Hoyt presents the Positive Propaganda Project. So what will color your world in the first 100 days? If you're like most Americans, it's probably mass media. Analysts project we consume an average 15 and a half hours a day. In fact, many believe TV, radio, and even Facebook have become nothing more than a form of propaganda contributing to the political divide. High school students are among the largest consumer groups and are the next in line to participate in future elections. So what better place to begin our adventure than Mr. Shaftick's 12th grade Problems of Democracy class? Through the Positive Propaganda Project, our teaching artists will help these students to identify, resist, and counteract the influence of mass media through the study and creation of propaganda art. After choosing, researching, and debating a topic, short exercises will help teams of students develop a single creative voice. That voice might take shape as a poster, mural, poem, rap, or one-act play. It doesn't matter. As long as they are working together. Final projects will be exhibited online and at our local coffee house to replace the negativity with productive public debate. Response to the exhibit will fuel further discussion in class, such as the impact small groups can have. The program will end with a field trip to the PA State Capitol Building and National Civil War Museum in Harrisburg. So, you see, it's not so much about choosing your colors as it is developing a universal palette. Vote the Positive Propaganda Project.